What? No way! No way! Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing something that is so freaking exciting and something that I have been wanting to do for years and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail today we are going to be giving my dog Jackal a doggy DNA test. So eight years ago I rescued my dog Jackal. He was around probably around two years old when I rescued him and he is now 10 years old and I always kind of knew what kind of dog he was but I always wanted to be completely sure and the only way to do that is with of course a doggy DNA test. I know he has some some chihuahua in him, some terrier in him. I'm not sure what terrier. I don't know if it's Jack Russell. I don't know if it's Rat. I don't know. I don't know any of the nitty gritty details. So in today's video, we are going to be finding out just exactly what kind of dog Jackal is. And the DNA kit that I got for this video is the Wisdom Panel Dog DNA Collection Kit. I found this on Amazon for around $100. Yes, they are a little bit pricey, but since I have been wanting to do this type of video for quite a long time, it is definitely worth it and I cannot wait to get started. So it's really, really easy. If you guys remember when I did my DNA test, if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it up in the corner so you guys can easily Easily click and check it out. The results were very, very shocking. Well, it's pretty much the same thing for a dog. So basically, you collect your dog's DNA, activate their account, mail in their DNA, and then you get their results. And I'm pretty sure this one tells you all the breeds that are in the dog. Uh, I think it tells you like certain traits that the dog has and maybe a couple of health risks that this breed of dog has. So I'm very, very excited to find out what those are. So I did already activate his kit online and basically the only thing we have left to do is to collect his DNA and mail it in. So you do get this little box right here and you don't wanna destroy this box because this is the box where you're going to be shipping the DNA in. And and then when you open it, inside we just have the little DNA swabs. It tells you directions on how to do everything. It comes with these two little, almost like pipe cleaner, mascara wand looking things. And basically you rub both of these inside the dog's mouth on their gums, on their lips for about 15 seconds each. Then you set them in these little holes right here, let them dry for about five minutes, slide them back into the secure packaging, and then you basically mail it out. And it says that they, after about 10 days after it shipped, you should see your results, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm very, very excited to do this video. If you guys are interested in knowing what kind of dog Jackal is, then just go ahead and keep on watching. And also, if you guys are interested in doing this exact same thing with your dog at home, like I said, I found this on Amazon, not sponsored. I bought this with my own money and I'm so excited to be doing this so first off I am going to show you guys Jackal OG watchers on my channel know who Jackal is but if you're just clicking on this video and you have no idea who he is I will show him to you so here is Jackal he is about 10 pounds and as you can tell he is a little bit on the older side he has quite a white face right here this was my first dog I ever got he is my baby he is the love of my life so one thing that it does say is wait at least two hours after a meal or a treat before you start collecting their DNA so he ate at four o'clock and it is now a little bit after six so I think we're pretty much ready to go and I'm gonna set him on my table and we're gonna we're gonna get his little DNA here, so I'm really excited. I'm going to set him down, give him a little towel to sit on so he doesn't hurt his hips or his butt, cause like I said, he is a little bit older. All right, can you sit? Such a pretty dog and I can't wait to see what the results are going to be. So basically the first step is you're going to want to peel down just a little bit, not too, too far because you do need to reinsert these into the packaging later. So I'm going to take one out right here. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so that is 15 seconds right there. So I'm going to set that 
in the little hole so it can dry for five minutes. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other little swab right here. Boy. And then there is the other one. So as you can see, it has a little bit of spit on there. So we are going to let these sit for five minutes and then we are going to mail it out and then we will read the results. Good boy. Yeah, that was such a good boy. You did so good, Jackalberry. You're my honey. You're my good boy. Very good, honey. All right, I'll set you down. You can go play. Good boy. What a trooper. Oh my gosh, he did so good. All right, so I am going to set a timer for five minutes and then we will package these up and go throw them in the mailbox. All right, guys, so it has been five minutes, so the swab should be relatively dry. So once they are dry, you're going to reinsert them back in this little guy right here. And I'm going to take one swab at a time and I'm just going to slide it back inside like so. And then it says to not reseal, just keep it open like this. And you basically slide it into this little guy right here, which I'm going to do. So here's what it looks like all put back together. We have Jackal's DNA right there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then you basically just peel off this piece right here and then you seal it up and hopefully within the next couple of weeks we will get the results back so now i'm just going to fill out my return address and we're going to go mail this puppy Okay guys, so it is about two weeks later, almost two weeks exactly, and the results for Jackal's DNA test are finally in. So in this portion of the video, we are going to be clicking on the results and we are going to see exactly what Jackal is. Come here, Jackalberry. Come on. Come on. Good boy. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on Jackal. So if you've been following me for at least the last year, year and a half, then you would know that Jackal was actually very, very sick. Um, or I think it was actually New Year's Eve. Uh, he had to be hospitalized for a couple of days and he, he was not doing very well. Basically, it was liver issues. His future was very unforeseen, I guess you could say, but after a few days of being hospitalized and having him back home and having him on a certain specialty prescription food and medicine, he has been doing so incredibly well. Like, I can't even tell you. Like, he looks really old, but I, let me tell you, when I tell you that he acts like a little puppy again, he really does. Like, he has been doing... Yes, that's my makeup. He's been doing so well. It's like he's a puppy again. He's playing. He's super happy. He has a lot more energy. So he... He's just been thriving. So I just wanted to give you guys that update because I'm sure a lot of you have probably been wondering how he's doing. I do update on their own personal Instagram. Yes, my dogs have their very own personal Instagram. If you are curious in following that, there is a link down in the description box you can go and follow. But without further ado, we're gonna open up the email. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. So here's the email right here, and we're going to hit view results. Are you ready, honey? I'm so excited. After eight years together, we're finally going to figure out what you are. Good boy. All right. All right. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it says that we detected four breeds in Jackal's DNA. So you have four breeds in you, honey. <gasps> What? No way! No way! So it says that Jackal is 90% Chihuahua, he is 6% Basset Hound, 
He is 2% Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever and 2% Miniature Poodle. What? I always thought he had like so... You alright? I always thought he had so many different kinds of terrier breeds in him. But no, Basset Hound, a duck tolling retriever, and a miniature poodle. Oh, there are the results right there. Holy crap. Oh my god, this is so freaking cool. Okay. And then in his health highlights, it says, Jackal is all clear for 29 genetic conditions that could impact his early vet visit. So he's clear of everything, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and view his ancestry. Oh, okay, so I guess Chihuahua is considered Terrier. So he has Terrier, Hound, and Sporting. I mean, I guess I can kind of see it now. Oh, it just wants to focus on his face. Look how cute. Look at my little old man. There we go. And then basically his family tree is just full of Chihuahuas and Chihuahua mixes. That is insane to me. So here we have the family tree. So his parents were probably Chihuahua, Chihuahua mix, uh, grandparents, great grandparents. Like this really takes you back. And they're literally all Chihuahuas and Chihuahua mixes. Let's go to some traits that Jackal has. So it says we performed 39 genetic trait tests on Jackal's DNA. First, we learned he's a very good boy. Aww, good boy. Good boy, Jackalberry. It says, but here's what else we've found. So for coat color and type, it says more than 20 genes combined to determine a dog's coat. And we tested them all for Jackal. So his coat color, he has seven traits. Black or brindle, he is brindle. Fawn is possible, which he does have some fawn in there. Um, not grizzle. Uh, no dark muzzle, which is true. He does not have a dark muzzle. Uh, recessive black, not black due to his variant, whatever that means. Um, tan points possible. Cream and red colors unlikely. That is true. He doesn't really have a whole lot of that. His coat patterns is not Harlequin, not Merrill. Very minimal white and saddle possible. So let's see what saddle is. Okay, so black and tan, uh, brindle. And then his pigment is chocolate, which is black nose and features possible, which as you can see, his little nose and his little lips are black. So, oh my God. And then for coat length and curl, he has two traits. He is not curly coated and he is short coated. So that's how you know they were pretty accurate with his DNA because they pretty much hit everything spot on. He, um, hairlessness, he has no hairlessness whatsoever. Uh, more coat traits. It says he's a low shutter. Jackal sheds literally all the time. Like, if I were to give him some snuggles right now, like, oh, look at my good boy! He's my good puppy! Ooh. Literally, it's literally all over me. So, not albino, no furnishings. Then it says Jackal's ideal weight range is 7.1 to 13 pounds, which is super cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, this literally gives you so much information. Like it goes over body features and it says that he has no hind dew claws, which is true, he doesn't. More body features is that he has a full tail length. It does say that he has, that pricked ears are more likely for him, but he does have floppy ears. Um, it says that he has short legs and dark or amber eyes likely, which he does have. And then for back muscle and bulk, it says lean. There's just a little bit of a scroll through. more in depth than my own DNA test. That is crazy. I still can't get over that he has Basset Hound and Miniature Poodle. Like what? Okay, so I'm actually very curious. So I brought out 
the Bible. We have the American Kennel Club, the Complete Dog Book, and I am going to look up these dogs and kind of show you guys what we are looking at right here. I literally thought we were going to be in like the terrier section for sure, but uh, no, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be all over the place. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, this is what the Basset Hound looks like. I can't get over that. Like he has 6% Basset Hound. What? Honey! That's why you're so good at howling and you have that one specific bark that always freaks mommy out really bad in the middle of the night. God, you're cute. Okay, now let's go to the one that I'm probably most curious about. Aww. Okay, I guess I can kind of see that. Maybe this is where he gets his coloring from. So here is the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling ter Retriever, not Terrier. So it's like this really cute looking golden retriever looking type. I don't know, but these are so cute. And of course, we have the miniature poodle. That is the other 2% that Jackal has in him. I guess this one kind of makes sense because poodles can have like kind of a shitty temperament, I guess you could say. And Jackal definitely has some of that like sassiness to him. So it's like the more I'm looking at him now, the more I can kind of see Bass at home because he kind of has that long body like a basset hound and he this was seriously so much fun the results that i got i was not expecting at all i am so glad i know now because the whole time i've had him i literally thought he was like a chihuahua terrier mix i had no idea that he had all this different stuff in there so let me know down in the comments what you guys think of jackal's dna test were you surprised by the results did you think he was something totally different please let me know down in the comments i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video this is probably one of my favorite videos that i've personally ever done here on my channel because how cool is that like hi you have Basset Hound in you, and a Poodle, and a Duck Tolling Retriever. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. We do upload every three to four days on this channel. I am going to go feed this guy and give him lots of snuggles because he is my cute little Chihuahua Basset Hound Retriever Poodle guy, and he's hungry. Yes, are you hungry? Oh my gosh, okay, okay, let's go. I love you guys so, so much, but until then, I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. 